France United Kingdom relations are the relations between the governments of the French Republic and the United Kingdom, the historical ties between France and the UK, and the countries preceding them, are long and complex, including conquest, wars, and alliances at various points in history. The Roman era saw both areas largely conquered by Rome, whose fortifications exist in both countries to this day. However, the language barrier remained. The Norman conquest of England in 1066 decisively shaped English history, as well as the English language. Throughout the Middle Ages and into the early modern period, France and England were often bitter enemies, with both nations' monarchs claiming control over France, while Scotland was usually allied with France until the Union of the Crowns. Some of the noteworthy conflicts include the Hundred Years' War and the French Revolutionary Wars, which were French victories as well as the Seven Years' War and Napoleonic Wars, from which Great Britain emerged victorious. The last major conflict between the two were the Napoleonic Wars in which coalitions of European powers, financed and usually led by London, fought a series of wars against the First French Empire and its client states, culminating in the defeat of Napoleon in 1815. That was the last war but there were some scares that never escalated too far. The scares came over fears of a French invasion around 1859 and the later rivalry for African colonies. Nevertheless peace always prevailed. Close friendly ties between the two began with the 1904 Entente Cordia. And the British and French were allied against Germany in both World War I and World War II. In the latter conflict, British armies helped to liberate occupied France from the Nazis. Both nations opposed the Soviet Union during the Cold War and were founding members of NATO, the Western military alliance led by the United States. During the 1960s, French President Charles de Gaulle distrusted the British for being too close to the Americans, and for years he blocked British entry into the European communities, now called the European Union. De Gaulle also pulled France out of its active role in NATO because that alliance was too heavily dominated by Washington. After his death, Britain did enter the European Economic Community and France returned to NATO. In recent years the two countries have experienced a quite close relationship, especially on defence and foreign policy issues. The two countries tend, however, to disagree on a range of other matters, most notably the European Union. France and Britain are often still referred to as historic rivals, or with emphasis on the perceived everlasting competition that still opposes the two countries. French author José Alain Fralin characterized the relationship between the countries by describing the British as our most dear enemies. Unlike France, the United Kingdom left the European Union in 2020, after it voted to do so in a referendum held on 23 June 2016. It is estimated that about 350,000 French people live in the UK with approximately 400,000 Britons living in France. When Julius Caesar invaded Gaul, he encountered allies of the Gauls and Belgi from southeastern Britain offering assistance, some of whom even acknowledged the king of the Belgi as their sovereign. Although all the peoples concerned were Celts, this could arguably be seen as the first major example of Anglo-French cooperation in recorded history. As a consequence, Caesar felt compelled to invade, in an attempt to subdue Britain. Rome was reasonably successful at conquering Gaul, Britain and Belgica, and all three areas became provinces of the Roman Empire. For the next 500 years, there was much interaction between the two regions, as both Britain and France were under Roman rule. After the fall of the Western Roman Empire, this was followed by another 500 years with very little interaction between the two. As both were invaded by different Germanic tribes, Anglo-Saxonism rose from a mixture of Brythonism and Scandinavian immigration in Britain to conquer the Picts and Gaels. France saw intermixture with and partial conquest by Germanic tribes such as the Salian Franks to create the Frankish kingdom's Christianity as a religion spread through all areas involved during this period, replacing the Germanic, Celtic and pre-Celtic forms of worship. The deeds of chieftains in this period would produce the legendaria around King Arthur and Camelot.
now believed to be a legend based on the deeds of many early medieval British chieftains, and the more historically verifiable Charlemagne, the Frankish chieftain who founded the Holy Roman Empire throughout much of Western Europe. At the turn of the second millennium, the British Isles were primarily involved with the Scandinavian world, while France's main foreign relationship was with the Holy Roman Empire. Prior to the Norman conquest of 1066, there were no armed conf.